Hey friends and welcome back. And this box and this knife again must mean a new guitar day coming right up. Yep, yeah, really exciting. I've been sent another guitar by the lovely people from Glarry. And this one is a little bit different. A little bit worried about this one. It's not my usual style of guitar. Before we get into that, I just have a quick announcement to give you. If you're in the UK and you're anywhere near Chester and at the time of this going out, which is the beginning of May 2019, then there's an opportunity for you to get involved in a free guitar show, which is happening at St. Mary's Creative Space in Chester on the weekend of the 25th and 26th of May this month and there'll be open days. It's organized by my friends at Vintage and JHS let me know. And there'll be two days, open days, where you can try out all sorts of vintage guitars and various other brands of guitar. It's open from 10 o'clock, I believe, until four o'clock each day. And on the Saturday night, there's a concert featuring some incredible acoustic artists, including Carol Martin, Raymond Burley, Rory Evans, Paul Brett, and a guy that I met myself about 15 years plus ago at the Fairfield Hall in Croydon, where I sold merchandise for Gordon Giltrap, who's now MBE. And he's a fantastic player. So if you're anywhere near Chester, get yourself along to that because you bound to have a great time. Right, on with the unboxing of this little beast. Without further ado, let's get into it. And this one is somewhat more pointy than guitars that I'm used to unboxing. And it is, of course, the Glary Burning Fire in black. And this is definitely a rock beast. First thing I notice about it is it's very light and quite nice and small. Although it's still a standard 25 and a half inch scale length, which means that this bridge is quite a long way back on this body. It feels quite balanced, a little bit headstock heavy perhaps. And that's something that I really like. I think that this shape is lovely. Um, so I'll put the specs up down below, but basically this is a solid body guitar with three pickups, humbucker single, humbucker. So I'm guessing this is a five way. That's weird. That's not a five way. That's a three way selector switch for three pickups. So, that is very strange. So I'm guessing that it's going to be humbucker, single humbucker, each pickup individually, and no combinations of the two. So there are a lot of combinations that could be added on this. Standard volume and tone, no push pulls that I can feel. The volume pot is quite, quite nice and easy to move. It's not stiff. It's not super loose, but you could certainly do violins with it. Uh, and similarly with the tone pot, it's got the shark tooth inlays, very metal. Uh, it's got a, a very plasticky nut, and that's quite obviously plasticky, and seems to be quite deeply cut for the strings, although the action on this guitar is pretty decent. <laughs> It's got 
the standard Shala style tuners and they're non-branded so again I believe I'm right in saying that this is made in China although it's not marked anywhere on it as to where it's made it's got the recessed washered four bolt neck connection system so this actually is quite stable it helps the resonance to transfer better into the body and into the neck so I don't know let me know what you think in the comments down below it's not a shape that I would personally choose or to play, but the people from Glarry wanted me to review this one. So I said, no problem at all, provided, of course, as always, you let me say exactly how it is. So that's what they're getting, um, a completely honest, unfiltered review of it. <laughs> Tremolo system on this is a standard fender style six bolt system or six screw system and like the strat that I got from Glarry recently the Clapton style strat this is screwed right the way down so this bridge is not floating and I'm guessing yeah that's not coming forward anytime soon um, the back of the bridge it's very thin, there's not a lot of meat to this tremolo system. It's actually a very, very thin piece of block in this. And this back plate, which will be coming off, uh, is very proud. It stands proud and so does the control cavity. I would say that this body is somewhat short of 50 mil wide. I'd say it's more like a 40 mil to 45 mil thickness body. It feels quite small, uh, which I think in a lot of ways has its positives as well as its negatives. This is not going to be a guitar for a country and western player. This is not going to be a guitar for a blues player. This is going to be a guitar that's going to appeal to younger first time players that are really into their rock and metal. And certainly from the looks wise, it does exactly that, what it says on the tin. It's a burning fire guitar. Now, this comes in four different colors. It comes in white, black, red, and sunset, which I believe maybe means sunburst. And they're quite nice colors. I chose to go for the black. Actually, I didn't choose to go to the black. They sent me the black. It was their choice to send me the black, but actually, out of the four colors, I really like this the best. So there we go. Uh, the pickups look to be non-branded standard uh, Chinese. The, the neck is a nice maple back neck and it's got a scarf joint, which is a good thing because as I keep on saying, scarf joints are stronger because the wood quarter sawn, this is not quarter sawn, this is flat sawn. You can tell by the, the pattern and that's a slightly cheaper way of cutting these neck blanks. It's quite a thick neck. But anyway, going back to the scarf joint, the scarf joint gives it strength because as you can see here, this grain runs, actually it runs this way. Um, and what often happens when you have a headstock that is cut out of the same piece of material is that grain is cutting in slices through that headstock making it weaker whereas when they actually put a scarf joint on it they turn the grain meaning that you get all the strength of the grain which is exactly what they've done with this and again you can see that nice glary headstock shape on this i actually like this headstock shape and style better than any of the other glary guitars i've been sent it's really pretty so what else do we get with the guitar the standard 
exactly the same strap as we got with the Strat. And that's a really cheap, but it's good. It comes with a strap for the money. Comes with a standard gig slip. I'm not going to call it a, a soft case because it really is just a, a slip to keep it in. It comes with a cable, the usual very reasonably cheap Chinese style cable. It comes with the trim or whammy bar, which we can now confirm yeah, it doesn't move. It does need to be created or lifted to be floating. And it also comes with a pair of Allen wrenches, one that will adjust the, the height of the bridges for setup purposes, and one that I can't put in because it's got a, a truss rod cover on it, but one to adjust the truss rod. So again, Glary are really good at sending out all of the kit you need for a guitar as a starter. And this is definitely a beginner's guitar. Oh, I forgot to mention, they send you a really nice brown, quite stiff pick. Um, so, certainly not expecting it to be in tune, but we'll have a little demo of the sounds of this guitar. It'd be very interesting to see what these pickups switches do, uh, because there are three pickups and only three positions, which is unusual. And, We'll go and give this a try with some clean tones and some crunch tones and of course some metal tones. So there you have some of the sounds of this and you'll be wanting to know the cost because once again Glary are dirt cheap with the Burning Fire guitar. This at the time of going to video on their website was priced at £72.99 so £70. £73, which translates at today's exchange rate to $95.26. So under $100 again for a guitar with everything that a beginner could need 
to get started other than an amp. So there we have it. I just going over the neck, certainly the frets are a little sharp again, just full disclosure here because it is something you can deal with, but for a beginner, it's worth knowing. So yeah, it's very well balanced for a very pointy shaped guitar. The action is, I would say, between one and a half and two mil, so not too bad. The intonation, Well, it's in tune and I've got a cup of coffee. So we can have a little check of the intonation now. Not a million miles out, to be fair. Okay, so having just done the playthrough demo of this glary burning fire, there are a few little things that I really feel duty bound to point out. Number one, it does play fine. It absolutely plays fine, but there is a little bit of fret buzz, which indicates that it does need a significant setup. I can also confirm that the pickup selector does indeed just select one pickup at a time. There are no combinations. And one of the most disappointing things on this guitar is the tone and the sound from the bridge pickup. Now this guitar is really going to appeal to metal players and you really need a good, juicy, meaty, powerful pickup in the bridge if you're into rock and metal. And this just doesn't have it, I'm afraid. I have to tell you, I have to be honest about it. Uh, this bridge pickup, as you'll hear in the demo tones, just really does not cut the mustard when it comes to rock tones. So there is the Glary Burning Fire. 72 pounds and 99 pence, $95, 26 cents. Very good value for money, again, from Glary. The action could do with being lowered, and certainly the specs on this and what you get for your money are, as you'd expect from Chinese manufacturers, it's at the budget end of the market but for the price this hasn't got very many flaws or anything really majorly wrong with it that i can see so well done to glary another very very cheap budget end guitar that's i would say very much worth the money hope you've enjoyed this as always if you have don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a nice like if you haven't already it can't hurt to subscribe and if you do, don't forget to click that bell icon. If you're around on the weekend of the 26th and 25th of May in Chester, UK, go along and support the Vintage Guitar Show because they're going to have a lot of fun up there. I wish I was going. And I'll be back really soon, perhaps with more Glary guitars, but certainly with much more interesting content as soon as I can. In the meantime, folks, as always, you take really good care.